So I'm going to tell you about an activity today called Magic Microbit. I have programmed the Microbit to tell me the answers to all the deepest questions I have. Magic Microbit, am I going to get a snow day this week? Always. Ooh, always this week. Okay, okay. Um, Magic Microbit, is my favorite team going to win the Super Bowl? Hmm, ask again. Okay, maybe I didn't ask it very good enough. Magic Microbit, is my team going to win the Super Bowl? It seems likely, phew, I was worried about that. Um, you can make a variety of different answers for the magic micro bit to use. You just get a circle, hole punch a hole in the middle, and you fill in your answers. Some of my students keep it simple, yes, no. Some other kids made a vague answer. Maybe is the biggest one, the biggest answer, and then a tiny yes and a tiny no. I'm not sure how helpful that was. Um, another student made one with percents, so you'd say like magic micro bit, what's the chance that I'm going to be a millionaire when I grow up? Um, somebody else made an activity one. You don't know what to do, you ask the magic micro bit. You might end up ordering pizza, or you might end up doing 100 jumping jacks. I've also had students fill this in with different jobs that the mag magic micro bit would predict that you'll have when you grow up. And if you're really brave, you can have a roast or toast. So you ask the magic micro bit to give you a roast or a toast and it might land on something like, you're amazing, you're awesome. Or it might give you a roast like, your dog water, you took the L. All in good fun. So let me show you how to make this code. I'm gonna start by making a new project. I'm gonna call it magic micro bit. Of course, we know the micro bit's not really magic. It is following a code. I'm going to get rid of on start and forever because my magic micro bit is going to spin based on the input, the event of button A pressed. So I need the button A pressed code block. Next, I'm going to go into extensions and I need to click where it says servo. This is going to be the easiest way to get code blocks for my servo. Now I have servo in the um, files right here. I want to add sound to my micro bit. The one I usually typically use is da da da. It's a good length and it's not too annoying. The next thing I need to do is go into servos and I'm going to get the continuous servo to run at 50%. I'm actually going to speed that up to 100% just because I like my servo to spin fast. Then I need to tell my micro bit how long to spin the servo. So I need a pause. The pause is going to tell my micro bit how many seconds to spin before it goes on to the next line of code. I need to go into math though because I want this number to be random. That way my micro bit doesn't always end up on the same spot. It'll randomly spin. So I want it to spin for anywhere from 3000 milliseconds, which would be three seconds, to 6,000 milliseconds, which would be six seconds. So it's gonna spin anywhere between three and six seconds. After three to six seconds, I need my micro bit to stop. So I'm going to duplicate this code right here, and I'm gonna tell the micro bit to stop at 0%. There is a code block in here that says stop servo, but for some reason I have found that running it at 0% stops it better. So let's test my magic micro bit. Magic micro bit. Am I going to be a YouTube sensation? Well, it spins. It doesn't have any answers, but it does spin. This time, where does it stop? Pointing down to the left about seven, eight o'clock. Next time I ask it something, it spins for a different number of seconds. And now it's pointing up towards 11 o'clock. All right, have fun making your magic micro bit.